Hello, it's James from X-Robots. So, Ninja Tech, who make Ninja Flex filament, which I've used quite a lot in my projects, have asked me to make something cool with their filament. So, I've decided it's time to do a cosplay, and yes, it is going to be a cosplay, because I'm going to be doing acting. I'm Batman. So, we're going to make a bat suit to go with my bat ball, which of course had Ninja Flex tyres. So we've got some filament here provided by Ninja Tech, so let's have a look and see what we've got. Right, some spools of filament. So we've got some standard Ninja Flex, which is the really flexible stuff. We've got that in yellow and black, so we can do some highlights, especially the bat belt in yellow. We've also got Ninja Flex Cheetah, which was semi-flex which is kind of semi-flexible, so we're going to use that for some of the actual parts of the body armour. And we've also got Ninja Flex Armadillo, which is a rigid offering. It's still slightly flexible, but it bonds really well, especially with the Lulzbot more Struder, so we can actually make some rigid parts of the body armour. So obviously not all parts can be made out of 3D printing, so the cape is going to be this fabric here, which is a fabric called Scuba. It's 300 grams a square metre, and it's slightly stretchy, and it drapes really well to get that really good bat cape feel. I've also got this one-piece black undersuit with a zip in it, some gloves with Velcro patches on the back, and a ski mask, which I think I'm going to attach the cowl parts to, but we'll see how that goes as I come to make those pieces. I did most of the design for this in Fusion 360, starting with a bat symbol, turning that into a solid shape, and then modelling the chest plate. And most of these items are made out of solid blocks, which I've chamfered and filleted the edges on, cut some scoops out, and so on. I did some experiments with the ab sections there to try and get the shape I liked, but I preferred something a bit darker and a bit more pointy, and that's going to be a theme in the suit. The biceps are again cut out of solid blocks, rounded off, and I've still got some more work to do on those, but that's a good way to get those parts placed and get the sizing. And I did the same thing there with the shoulder bells. And here it is so far. Obviously, I've only designed the upper body so far. I haven't done the cowl or anywhere at the back, really, or anything to mount the back cape on. The belt here, I should say, is a placeholder, but I'm pretty happy with the way it looks so far. There's some more details to add, and then we can get some parts printing. So I'm printing in Ninja Tech Cheetah here and I'm actually using a normal extruder. So there is a flexi extruder from Lulzbot which I've used for actual Ninja Flex which is slightly more flexible than the Cheetah. But if I go slow enough with a normal extruder and Cheetah which is the more rigid of the two, I found I can print that fine and you can see that I'm printing at um, a fairly reasonable speed here, around 40 to 50 millimeters a second. I'm getting quite a nice glossy finish on most of these parts and I have printed some of them with support material as well. So here are my parts printed in Ninja Tech Cheetah. So all of these parts are pretty flexible and they're really tough and that's important as well because some of these need to bend around my body. So I've got my parts that got my kidney pieces at the side of my torso, my ab plate of course, and I've also got the chest plate. These parts have come out really, really tough. Obviously the layer bonding's really good on Cheetah and on Ninja Flex as well. I've got some screw holes in the back here. We can glue some screws in so I can attach these to strapping or the undersuit. Some of these were printed on support material and I've just torn the support material off. It works just as well in Cheetah as it does with other materials. So there's a bit of clean up to do there. We can see we've got the different sections there and all of those can be attached with their own attachment points onto the undersuit. Most of the other big chunks of armour I'm going to be printing in Ninja Tech Armadillo and I'm using the Lulzbot Moore Struder here with its 1.2mm nozzle so the layer bonding is really good between those layers and the armour doesn't break if I fall off my bat board. Again I'm getting quite a good glossy finish here, I'm printing pretty slow though, around 10mm a second and that really helps with the overhangs and any bridging that occurs in the cutouts for the biceps for instance. That's not too slow for the more Struder though because the nozzle is so thick so it still puts down quite a lot of filament at that speed and you can see that extruder gear whizzing round. And there are my two biceps printed in armadillo with the more Struder of course so there's some really tough feeling parts. I added a couple of features to put these bands on just so they weren't completely blank but I'm pretty happy with those and of course we've got two opposites. So compared to my Iron Man biceps they're quite a bit smaller altogether there. But there we go, Batman isn't really an armoured character, so I want these to be a bit more sleek. So I've just made up a temporary strapping system, and obviously the straps come through the side plates here, and this one goes through and over the shoulders. Eventually there'll be some shoulder things that hold the bat cape, and those straps won't go to nowhere at the moment. They're just clipped on the back, so it's not particularly tight. 
but I think it's scaled out quite well. We do have the additional pieces for the bottom of the chest plate that just make that a bit bigger and fill in the gaps. So I'm pretty happy with what we've got there so far. Obviously the pieces are quite snug fitting. There aren't too many big gaps, but there are some gaps in between the pieces and I don't want that just to look like black fabric. So I'm gonna try and 3D print some panels for an undersuit. So I knocked up this quick hex pattern in Fusion 360 and these things are quite big at the moment. So from side to side, we're about 30 mil there. So it's a fairly coarse hex pattern. We could go slightly smaller. But the plan is gonna to be to try and print this directly on fabric with Cheetah or NinjaFlex, one of the flexibles. So I've taped some black poly cotton, which is just a thin fabric onto the print bed. The print bed's cold and I've just stuck the fabric on with blue tape there to hold it vaguely tight. I'm printing NinjaFlex Cheetah at around 235 degrees. And I'm going pretty slow there just because I don't want to drag the fabric around. But that seems to be going pretty well to put that pattern down. It's probably a bit coarse, so for the actual suit, we'll probably make that finer. But I'm pretty happy that I can build up thicker sections, so there's quite a lot of possibilities there. So a bit experimental, but here we are. It's uh, definitely stuck to the fabric okay. I can peel it off if I try really hard at the edges. But that's probably not a problem. What I'd be planning to do is make up some panels like this, probably of a finer pattern, some thicker edges on them where they attach to the undersuit. And then we could probably just stitch straight through the Ninja Flex and stitch those to the undersuit. We could of course make panels without the fabric backing as well and stitch those straight onto the undersuit. The Cheetah is probably gonna be fine to hand wash, so I don't think there's any problem with permanently attaching it. And of course the plan is that these parts will fit underneath the other armor parts to fill the gaps and so on. So we'll probably make some quite tailored panels to fit in specific places in between those bits of other armor and the other Cheetah flexible sections. So that's the end of part one for the 3D printed Batsuit. And thanks again to Ninja Tech for supplying all the filament for the project. So next time I'm gonna be working my way up to the shoulders putting the shoulder bells on and also some sort of thing that holds the back cape with a strapping system that goes down the back so we can actually put this together properly and hopefully I should be able to wear what we've got so far. Probably going to think about more of these panels however I do them to try and make some fill-in sections and after that we can work on the more detailed parts like the cowl and the belt which is going to be very special and I'm hoping to build some electronics into the suit so don't forget to check back for more on that. All right that's all for now.